Icon SBCs are back. Icon SBCs are back. Slap yourself. This is real. Lads, if we could smash 35 likes on this video, that'd be very nice. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Oh yes, boys, welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Now today, boys, we're going to be talking about the three new players, three new icons who have been released. Released, there's a whole, there's loads of icons. There's like at least 20. Well, guess what? We've got SPCs. They are back. I'm buzzing. FIFA 18 were the days when I completed literally all of them. FIFA 19, I completed loads. And FIFA 20, I just couldn't. It was depressing. But yeah, FIFA 21, they finally added them back. And yeah, boys, let me know in the comments if you're buzzing about the Icon SPCs. But yeah, today, boys, I will be telling you which Icon you should complete if you want to complete one of them. They do look pretty cool in your team, and this year we're getting a lot of SPC fodder, so there's no reason not to dump your fodder into them. Like, you're most likely probably going to pack that back in your untradeable packs. So yeah, if you must do an Icon SPC, which player should you do? Which one's more um, Which one's more valuable in terms of coins? You know, what players are worth less than their market price? And, you know, all the bloody Houdini stuff like that. But yeah, I've made a graphic about it as well when i say graphic i've made a very simple graphic telling you the price on the market oh no you know on xbox ps4 but yeah first we will dive in to the actual game and yeah let's review the sbc requirements for these icons also here we are on the icon tab for the first time since fifa 19 mate i had a lot of fun fifa 19 icons i think i did like five or six if not more fifa 18 i rinsed them fifa 18 i did like del piero when they first came out mate they're back they are back and we're loving it. Obviously, first thing, we've got lone ones, which do require very minimum scores. They're roughly like 7, 7k to complete on footbin. Uh, but yeah, lone cards, you can use these in friendlies. An unlimited amount of times as well. So if you want to test out an icon, see if they're good, you can probably get their loan. Play unlimited times with them in friendlies. And then if they are good, get the real version. But yeah, getting into the cards themselves, they at like the first set they release... Usually is a time limit, 28 days, as you, see, as you can see there. So yeah, really the thing about like these three icons are... Not really matter, but they're not stinkers, so like they are somewhat usable. Yeah, that is just the format. Yeah, do usually do follow. They've done it with FIFA 19 and 18, where they uh, where they release not the best of batches, but then like in a few weeks they will be very very good meta ones. They've actually added a new feature which counts team of the weeks as for champion cards, so that is just beautiful right there. Like red player picks, if you get a high rated fodder player, like that's not just for fodder rating. Like this can be used for icon SPC and save you 30, 40k here and there. Ratings just yeah just really rates how good they are so we'll probably see the likes of like Ronaldinho when they do come out later on in the year like 89 rated squads and there's gonna be so many El Tractor which complete this challenge themed around Javier Zanetti's time with his national team and then obviously Inter a top notch which is an 8 rated squad and 84 rated squad right there as well uh, and then just the bronze and silver ones where you get too fair not <laughs> too fair if you do these you could probably like make some money back but yeah as we say seven squads roughly around 400k for zanetti we'll get into the little cheeky graphic in a minute we are getting into edwin van der sar now this is going to be an 86 rated squad uh due to his time with in the premier league uh with one premier league player and a team of the week all for champions player a national idol which guy uh, which is 85 rating sorry with 65 chemistry and one dutch player the silver days where it was 84 rating uh, team of the week for champions min one on ajax all united player minimum one and then 70 chemistry and then obviously top notch which is an 80 rated squad and then the bronze and silver one so yeah that is again roughly around around pretty much the same price as zanetti pretty much a little bit less than zanetti uh but yeah lewis figo right here now this one's fairly expensive to be fair again figo's a very great card in game uh we probably will see this a lot as well an 89 rated squad for figo right there an 88 one with a minimum of Serie A players um, and team of the week or fit champion players minimum of one Madrid player with an 87 rated squad an 86 rated squad with a minimum of one Barcelona player an 82 rated squad with an inform um, an 81 rated squad with an inform and bronze and silver so again that's going to work out too due to like the 89 rated squads that's going to push a mil so yeah they are ve they are very pricey like considering at this stage of the year they aren't the best right, so here we are on the graphic uh, basically just the market prices and then, then the spc costs of the player obviously whilst doing an spc you want to consider how much you're gonna have to spend on fodder if your club's drained and then obviously if you were to buy them in the market where to work out better but yeah as we can see here starting off on edwin van der Sar, i'm going to take you through what i've made it's not too complex as we can see he costs on ps4 435k on xbox 475k but yeah that's just to do it from scratch with no fodder whatsoever i'm sure if you play rivals get a few untradeable uh high rate fodder cards like kane sterling that's like 70k save so yeah just think of it as kind of that if you were to have no club at all that would that would be how much it cost you however if you were to buy them on the market by the way it'd work out roughly at least 100k cheaper on either platform so yeah as you can see there uh, his market cost on ps4 is 340k 
and on Xbox, his market price is pushing around 300k up to 310k. Overall, if you want to get Van der Sar, just buy him in the market, um, unless you have Stack Club full of fodder. Anyway, moving on to the next player, which is going to be Zanetti. His SBC cost, again, is pretty much exactly, well, yeah, it, I, I've made it out to be exactly the same as Van der Sar. But yeah, we're talking about just Zanetti here. So um, on PS4, 435k and Xbox, 475k. It will take to complete this SPC from scratch and his market cost is roughly 400k being 415k on PS4 to buy from the transfer market and 400k exactly to buy him on Xbox on the Xbox market so then again if you're completing from scratch it'll be work out cheaper to buy him so from scratch buy this card however if you've got loads of fodder and I'm talking like a fair a fair bit of fodder then go ahead and you could, could probably save a few hundred k two star skill moves and four star weak but falls the net right there again it's not a very bad fullback to be fair um fairly matter just a little bit little, little bit low on the pace but you can always check a sh uh, shadow on him but yeah getting into lewis figo which is a million his spc from scratch is a million coins yeah so again if unless you have a fair bit of fodder just don't do him like from scratch a million coins you could either you could just buy him all right just if you if you want him that bad just buy him. Obviously, then he will be tradable as well. But yeah, his market cost on Xbox is roughly 50k cheap to be fair. That's quite a little bit um, compared to PS4, which is a million coins pretty much exactly anyway. Also, a full stuff of Figo. Again, very, 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 very nice winger. Uh, offers loads of links as well. You've got the likes of like Ronaldo, uh, Jao Felix, Bruno. You can always get strong against him and, you know, you could probably work him in a hybrid. Then again, you've got the likes of Bernardo Silva, but very similar to this card, and he's like 40k. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you unless you're a very big Figo fan. Uh, if you've got loads of fodder and you continue to grind, you know, SBCs which are untradeable, there's no reason not to if you need to use fodder. Like, I would say maximum you spend buying fodder, five, I'm, nah, I'm, I might be wrong on this, 500k maximum to spend by fodder. So, fodder and 500k, I think that would be a fair result. You're getting yourself a middle Louis Vigo. Um, but yeah, again... Who doesn't have fodder these days? Like, rival rewards give out so much now. Getting down to the final point. If you want to complete one, three of these icons uh, due to your club, maximise on fodder, yeah? Because that's to be fair. Every pack now is untradeable. I'd probably tell you to do the Edwin van der Sar. Just in my opinion, yeah? Like, just get into his card. Dutch offers many links at the back. Van Dyke, green link, you know. Uh, goalkeeper. It's a reliable goalkeeper until literally the end of the game. You're not going to replace an icon keeper for, like, Edison or De Gea or whatever. Um, so yeah, he's not in, like in your team. He's gonna stay, you know He's gonna hold his position throughout pretty much the whole year icon Again links at the back You don't have to worry about what defenders you want to use if you pack like a really good center back Anyway, that will be the end of the video. There was who you should pick uh, out of the new free icons I'm not actually looking forward to EA releasing some more icons. I want to get Vidic on my team I'm getting Vidic and Ferdinand. Okay, like that'll be the dream. I, I could probably do Van Sar now United, United free at the back. Anyway, yeah, cheers for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.